Hi everybody, this is your reading for Tuesday the 7th of November. Thank you for joining me. I'm still using the Tarot of the Old Path, which was gifted to me. So thank you very much, Josephine. Um, these are the three cards which will give you an insight into the day's energy, what you're working with and what the day is about. So let me just arrange these so that nicely centered in the camera. There we go. So we've got the lovers, then we've got the high priest, and then we've got the ace of rods. Oh, wow. That's great. The lovers is a major arcana card, and it really is uh, true love. It's the relationship with a soulmate, with a twin flame, with a kindred spirit, whatever you want to call it. It can be a a uh, heterosexual relationship, it can be a same-sex relationship, it doesn't matter. This is symbolic of two people who are truly connected and in love. We've got this angel there, and I love that it's got this Star of David there, because that happens in the astrology a lot. When you've got one tri triangle like that in a chart, it's called a grand trine, it's an area of talent. And when you've got two like this, they create this six-pointed star, and the triangle pointing down is the guidance of the angels and the universe and the ascended masters and the triangle pointing up is the purity of these two people reaching for something higher and greater and because they reach for something higher and greater the universe meets them halfway and it creates this loving environment so today is a wonderful day for love romance meeting a new partner if you're in a relationship already it's a great day to share intimate moments, to get closer to each other, to make yourself vulnerable, to open up to the other person. And we've got this beautiful little dove of freedom there and all these fruits. So this love is abundant. It's free. It's not controlling. It's, it's what love should be. It's everything about love. It's inspiring. It makes you feel like you can take wing and you have so much more power than if you were by yourself. Everything that we are kind of taught as a society, what, you know, the ideal romantic relationship is. I just want to, I just want to do a little bit of an aside here because I've been thinking about this a bit. Um, it doesn't have to do with this card, but it has to do with the opposite of it. It has to do with loneliness. And people who are lonely um, will often, um, that's myself included and that's everybody else, we often look to things to fill that gap, you know, oh, I'm alone, I'm lonely, I don't feel like anyone's around or there's no love in my life. And then we look at things like, okay, I'm going to try and find a boyfriend, I'm going to date or I'm going to um, have sex with someone to make myself feel better or I'm going to turn to drugs and alcohol or I'm going to overeat or it's, it's that sense of... Um, lack and emptiness and loneliness that's really often can be really crippling it's almost like it's, there's another presence sitting on your shoulders kind of dragging you down that's how it feels for me sometimes but what i realized i thought about this the other day and what i realized is you're never alone if anything your life is too crowded because you've got god with you at all times or the universe the creator whatever you want to call it the um the source of being, the source of life. You've got that spark of the divine within you, which is what gives you life. So it lives inside of you. You've got the ascended masters around you. You've got your angels. You've got at least one guardian angel with you at all times. So if anything, you're surrounded by people all the time. Yes, they don't lie in bed next to you and give you a hug at night, but by closing your eyes and just realizing that they're there for you, you realize that loneliness is really just an illusion. And when you feel that sense of loneliness, tell it to go away. It, it comes back to not believing everything your head tells you. So if your head says, oh, I'm so lonely, I, I'm just, you know, I'm just all alone and no one cares. Take that thought and look at it for what it is and say, that is not true. And I'm not going to think like that. I'm going to throw you out of my brain because I have angels around me. I have myself. I have the universe, I have Jesus, if you work with him, I've got all of the, these wonderful loving energies around me, so I can't be lonely. That's kind of the opposite of this card. So on this day, you don't feel a sense of loneliness, you feel a sense of connection. And whether you're in a relationship or not, you can make the most of that sense of connection, either spiritually, or with another human being, 
or if you're out and about, you can form a new connection, a new relationship. This is the day for it. So love is in the air. Okay, it's love season. It's romance season. Then we've got the high priest and he does not look like him. <laughs> he's not sexy, is he? <laughs> no, he's not. So he is the high priest. Usually he looks like the Pope in this deck. He's got some very kind of flimsy looking trees in the back. He's got Taurus there, an elephant there. So he obviously is not into symmetry. Uh, he's got a falcon there, which is... The falcon is a symbol of freedom. You know, when you go to a church or something, when they're, when they're speaking on the podium, the podium has often got uh, an eagle on it, or a falcon or whatever. And it means that the message, that these words are going to take wing and they're going to be spread all over the world. So he is the authority figure. He's got this poor eagle under his control. Look, it's eyeing him out of the corner of its eye saying, I don't want to live with you anymore. I want to fly away. Leave me alone. The high priest is fear. He's, he's um, the rules. He is the judge. He is what society says is right and is wrong. And we all know that if we listen to, if I listened to what society said would, was right and wrong, I would have to throw myself in a gutter somewhere and die. Because um, the things about me, that I, I am a gay German astrologer who's also in recovery for addiction. <laughs> so I'm someone who, there are a lot of people would have a lot of opinions about that. And if I listen to what society said about each one of those things, I'd have a lot to contend with. So I don't listen to it. I just, it doesn't matter to me. It doesn't touch me. I do my own thing because who cares, right? Those things are limiting anyway. And I want to live my life with joy and a sense of fun and passion. So I'm not going to have these restrictive, stupid messages that come to me from society, which as a child were actually very hurtful. And now as an adult, I can look at them and I can look at them and be angry about it. And I can use that anger constructively and turn it into energy for myself to live a life of joy that is self-actualized and that isn't constrained by these rules and restrictions. I think, you know, I really, sorry, again, this is an aside, but I really think that you know, the Ten Commandments and um, these these stringent kind of rules that are that are imposed on us, they were written a long time ago and they make sense. Don't kill each other, don't steal from each other, don't take someone else's um, husband or wife away from them. I mean, they're okay. they make sense, don't they? But then there are other rules which really in this day and age and in our society are harmful and outdated. And that's why don't believe everything you hear. Don't believe everything you're told that you should or ought to be doing. If you hear the word should or ought, even from me or anybody, that's a red flag. If you should or ought to do anything, what you ought to do is walk away because you don't need to do anything. So we've got the lovers here. We've got this purity of who you are and what you love. But then we've got this barrier here. I can't love this because society will say no. Or I can't engage with this because my parents say it's forbidden. I can't do this because it's wrong. But finally, we have the Ace of Rods. And the Ace of Rods is a blessing and it's a gift from the universe. And beautifully, we've got Stonehenge here in the background. Amazing. Ace of Rods is this is is a blessing from the universe. The this rod isn't just a dead piece of wood. It's growing. It's it's sprouting leaves. It's kind of photosynthesizing things here. Thanks to my um biology school education there. Okay, so the Ace of Rods is a blessing. It's a it's the element of fire, and it's about living your life with passion and purpose and desire and fun and heat and passion and things grow and it bears fruit and it's nurturing and it's fulfilling and it's mystical and it's magical and it's everything you ever wanted. Okay, so you can have everything you ever wanted in your love life, in your connection with the universe, in your connection with another human being or making a new connection today. If you leap over your own inner fears and the rules that you've been told all, all your life, bye-bye, and you go straight there. And that is what this day can look like for you. So if you get out of your own way, and if you dismiss the restrictive, limiting, fearful beliefs of your upbringing or society as it is today, 
there's the potential for you to really, truly find love, be in love, experience a sense of freedom on this day, experience a sense of joy, or it can be even more permanent and long term and you could meet someone who will provide you with those things for a long, long, long time. And again, talking about the loneliness theme, this is something that you can do for yourself. You can meditate. That's why I always tell people to meditate and um, to try and form a connection with something greater. Because when you build a relationship and you realize that these angels and the ascended masters are real, they're not just, you know, figna, figments of our imagination, then it, it changes from just knowing that you're not alone to feeling that you're not alone. And the two are very different. You can intellectualize and rationalize and say, well, I feel very lonely, but I'm actually not because everyone's around me. And it's a whole different, it's a whole kettle of fish if you're saying, um, I feel I feel like there's just love and support all around me and I don't even question it. And because we live in a universe where what happens on the inside is reflected to you on the outside, the more full and loving and connected you are internally, the more that's going to express itself in your real world, in your real life. Number wise, we've got six and five is 11 and one is 12, one and two is three and three is about a new beginning and a fresh start. So don't let the fear stop you. Enjoy your new beginning and your fresh start. It looks like an amazing day full of joy and fun and passion. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you'd like a private reading with me, then please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading. I use astrology, tarot, and numerology in my readings. And the astrology charts in particular is useful because it's a blueprint of your soul. It shows me what your uh, life purpose is, what your vocational aptitudes are, what's coming up for you in future in terms of your uh, work, your health, your love life, your... Uh, travel situation, uh, when the best time is to move, the best time to invest. It shows me what your strengths and weaknesses are that you can work on. It, it really is very, very comprehensive. And any question you may have, I can answer by using these tools. So if you're interested, then visit gregoryscott.com. Click on the book your readings button. Please remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And I'll speak to you tomorrow.